Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I do it at least once a night. It's that time again. We're gonna play some Quiplash, and the room filled up very quickly. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I remembered that I forgot that I forgot to unmute my microphone when we came back. <sighs> Silly professional streamers trying to do things seriously. It's okay. There was new DLC that was released for Quiplash today, and it's uh, 99 cents over in the Steam store. You should go pick it up yourself. Seriously, it's uh, the the. Quiplash Pack 1, which implies that there will be more Quiplash Packs in the future, and it added something like, uh, 125 new prompts into the game, so it'll allow us to play this game pretty much indefinitely, I'm pretty sure, by the time they keep, uh, adding us all, uh, adding it all into it. But anyway, yeah, I know, I'm only allowed one damn Might Mucus stream. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I won't forget, I forget to do that again. So inside this room this time we have me, Azure, Dr. Horrible, Dan, uh, excuse me, Marcy, Drunk Kisty, Shannon, Arch, and Dr. Hoodro. Awesome grouping. And eight people in the audience. Damn. That is awesome. Okay. Now that we're gonna get this game started. Schmitty, are you glad to see us? Theme song, check. Schmitty. Ah, yes. Now that we are uh, playing something a little bit less uh, mentally taxing and something that I don't have to be quite paying so much attention to, I can tell you that Doctor Who thing that I was telling you about earlier. So, uh, this needs to have a little bit of setup here. So, for those who may not remember, uh, at the end of David Tennant's tenure as the Doctor, he um, irradiates himself in order to save Donna's grandfather uh, as the Master is going to, well, destroy the world. And then he goes around... Um, How do you, how do you spell that? Sorry, two seconds. Okay, that's how you spell it. Boop. And then, perfect. Um, so where was I? Yes, he radiates himself and he's going to die. And he knows he's going to die and he goes by and visits everyone to say his last goodbyes. And that's a really powerful moment. That entire sequence is really powerful and it takes all of the things that make the Doctor really interesting, his self-sacrificing efforts, his his want to do the right thing versus the right uh, want to serve himself because really he's the only one that's going to and he knows that. And you take all of those elements and that leads you into his last entrance into the TARDIS. And you have this wonderful scene where David Tennant fights off his regeneration that is inevitable because, well, it's his time. And okay, it's time for that scene, to me, did not quite do the full the justice that it should have. Uh, that scene, I wanted to rip my heart out. I wanted that okay, scene to sit here and, and just make me weep uncontrollably. And it did not. And I'll tell you why, after I pick my answer here. The worst upstairs neighbor would be people that bang on the floor or yell into the floor to the people below. Hey! You down there! Both would be pretty bad, but I feel like hearing the unmistakable noises of copulation is just the worst. So anyway, he's standing there in the TARDIS and he says, I don't want to go. But there's this violent reaction that eventually leads to the TARDIS crashing and Matt Smith crawls out and he's fish fingers and custard and young... Uh, 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 Amy Pond and all that nonsense. So, what leads to the destruction of the TARDIS? Well, it's that his regenerative energies kind of blow it up from the inside, something like that, if I remember correctly. What I wanted was a real physical fight, because David Tennant's doctor was not afraid to get dirty. And so, what I wanted to happen was when he says, I don't want to go. I wanted him to be the person to tear the TARDIS apart. I wanted him to throw himself upon anything that comes to mind because the only thing that might be able to stop the regeneration is physical injury. The only thing that might be able to stop this one thing that he never wants to happen, which is to no longer be, is to injure himself to the point 
where the regeneration has to go back to healing him and not moving forward. He wants to stay still so bad that he will tear apart the one thing that means the most to him to injure himself so that he doesn't change. That to me would be way more powerful. I don't know. That's just me. That's just totally me. Worst thing that could follow honey roasted snotty boogers a honey roasted honey roaster. <laughs> I feel like honey roasted snotty boogers is a flavor in Bernie Bot's every flavored beans. Am I right? Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted from that scene. And it's really not really a fanfic so much. It's just a general idea. I wanted that scene to be a lot more powerful. I wanted it to be more violent. I wanted it to be bigger. I wanted him to fight, to okay, physically sure. fight harder. Because to me, it just felt like he kind of bill. gave in to it. Time to I don't vote. know. But anyway, a creepy thing to find scribbled onto a dollar bill. I bought a child with this dollar. Or I came on this, enjoy my sperm. Oh god, both are gross. Both are really, really gross. I mean, sure, it's a family show, but you can do that kind of artfully. I mean, Liar Liar got away with it, so I don't know. Oh, and there was another story that came up during the break that I was going to tell you guys. So, uh, the <laughs> Million Dollars Butt. Love that show. That show's pretty freaking great. Um, I've enjoyed working on that very, very much. Blaine really kind of nailed making that show. And every episode has hilarious stories that go along with it. The, the Hitler episode, t uh, having a date with Hitler, was probably one of the most fun segments for me to film. Uh, because the guy that we had playing Hitler was so unbelievably adorable. And let's see. The sequel to the painting, Dogs Playing Poker. Cats Playing Uno. Cats would be bitches playing Uno. Seriously, they would be playing those reverse cards and skip cards like a motherfucker. I'm telling you, cats would be total assholes about it. Um, uh, the guy playing Hitler was so fucking adorable that that it somehow really played up like the, the innocence of Hitler somehow. And I, I like, it was pretty goddamn great. I loved it. Also, thank you so much, Dr. Woodrow, for Next our time. Um, uh, right, the, and then the bleeding out episode. The bleeding out episode, we got to break out the gore cannon again. And I gotta tell you, any episode when we get to break out the gore cannon, it's a good episode. Um, because we had to, well, pretend that you lost your entire blood. All of it. In one go. You prick your finger, all your blood. Um, and... We ended up having to do that inside of Bernie's office, which, as you probably guess, is a, a little bit nicer than you would expect, and uh, you probably don't want to cover it in blood. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So, what we ended up doing is make a fake Bernie's office outside. We took the exact um, furnishings and, and decorations and things that were on his desk, moved them outside. Uh, those were ours that we made up. Uh, he has some basically like that, but of course nicer. Um, Eric, <laughs> Eric the Flatulent. <laughs> I really want Eric the Flatulent to be a real Viking. <laughs> he just goes in and does chemical warfare to his enemies. <laughs> um, and so we made the fake one outside and we lined up everything. And Bernie sits there and does his thing. And we end up... <clears throat> um, We end up positioning him so that you can see him just fine and putting the gore cannon basically right behind his head and just Next up, the, the makeup people who do it. They are Hogfly Productions here in Austin. And they're amazing. Meredith and Anna, they're some of the best people that we get to work with because they get to pull out. Oh, wow. Really? Both of us made the butt stallion joke. I'm kind of proud of that. Um, we ended up shooting the blood cannon next to Bernie's head and they were like, yeah, no, it's just gonna be a little bit of pressure It's gonna come out not come out. It's a little boop and it's gonna splatter everything. It's gonna be great You're gonna love it. And so they pressure this thing up with a bike pump and uh, Because the air pressure thing that we had they were like, oh, that's gonna be too much pressure We don't want that much and they fire this thing They're like we got one shot to get this with because if we cover this fake back wall with blood It's probably gonna take a while to clean up and so we blast this fucking thing off, and it destroys 
everything. Like the Bro, light was covered, the uh, the, the little first. gust bobblehead. I think you can. I, I tweeted out the picture of that a while ago. Covered in blood, it knocks the screen off, like you see in the video, and completely whiffs our our walls in the back. You know, completely blowing our gag. But it's so fucking funny that it doesn't matter. Um, and and oh my god. That was just great. Well, uh, Kisty, it it went off uh, at, off an air compressor, so I mean, it wasn't really like a loud bang. It's more of a, poof, you know, because it's just air. Um, we have our next round of props here, so let's go ahead and put these in real quick, and then I'll continue. Hmm. I'm gonna go with. That one, and... Um... God, I don't know, this one's tough. This one's really tough. Uh... Why not? We'll make the Seinfeld joke. I never watched the show. I don't care. Uh, they were both, honestly, but the one that I was referring to there was Athens, Georgia, uh, because I am a big okay, University of Georgia football fan, one, and like that's the only sport that I really follow or anything. So I, I miss going to the games. That was something okay, that I got to do quite often as a kid because my uncle, uh, being an alumni, kind of got tickets for a good price, and so. Once every year, at least, I would end up going to the games over there, and they're absolutely amazing. They're huge events. Uh, Dan? Ooh, I don't know. I think it's going to have to be Dr. Horrible's ending, because I actually did cry during Dr. Horrible's ending, and I didn't during Doctor Who. That shit was just gut-wrenching. To, to say that much without giving any spoilers away for those who haven't seen it. If you haven't seen Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, what the fuck is wrong with you? Pause this video right now and go watch it. Those who have know what I'm talking about. It's pretty awful. It's pretty bad. Make up the title of a movie that is based on the first time you had sex. Gojira! Or what goes in what? Tagline. That goes in there? Uh, how could you guys not go for the Tesla effect ending? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Ritz would have been perfect. I totally get it now. I was like, the Ritz? The Ritz is not a nice hotel. Oh, that would be awesome, Awer. I don't know if you know this. I'm actually originally from Georgia. Uh, I grew up in Augusta. And then ended up going to school in South Carolina and then in Louisiana and moving here. So I'm kind of just all over from the South, basically. A rejected tourism slogan for Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines. Home of the cows. Home of the... Wait, where the fuck are we? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I thought too, Marcy. The Ritz is actually a nice hotel in real life, so that's the one that I jumped to. I totally forgot about Tex Murphy. Home of the... Wait, where the fuck are we again? Why are we in Iowa? <laughs> Home of the corn. Home of the children of the corn. That's the answer. Do, 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 good job, Dr. Horrible, for and getting that right answer. I know exactly where that is, eh? We're right outside of Atlanta. Uh, I did a good bit of work right outside of Atlanta when I was back home for a little bit in between college stints, uh, doing some, some movie work there outside of Atlanta. The worst question to ask during a White House tour. Can we see the president's room? And where do you keep the aliens? I would have gone with, can I show you my clock? But that's... Slightly topical. Also, they don't keep the aliens at the White House, duh. They keep those out in Arizona. Everybody knows that. Wow. Seems like most people love the aliens. Good job, Arch. Damn. 
This is just a round full of quip lashes, huh? Coming up next, why are geese such jerks? Why are geese such jerks? Because they always lose at Duck Duck Goose. Fucking perfect. Nailed it. Whoever that answer is, you're a goddamn genius. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, God. Dr. Wood, Dr. Hoodrow. Good job, Woodrow. You fucking nailed that one. You deserve that win. <laughs> also, Azure, why do you have Mortal Kombat 7 next to your name? I'm curious about that. Punishment for people who double dip their chips. Oh, God. The bowl eats the person's chip and hand, or no soup for you! What is a fitting punishment for people who double dip their chips? I think you should get to double dip your nuts in their mouth. Because that's really gross. It's really, really gross. Don't ever double dip, people. At least turn the chip to a different corner. Like, be, be considerate. Oh No Seinfeld fans? Damn it. Oh well. Fine. At least it wasn't too bad. I'm fine losing to Kisty. Our next question. The worst college football team, the fighting blank. The fighting cox. The fighting fisters or the fighting antisocials. That's true, Evie. If you're the only one that's eating out of the bowl, uh, then by all means. Fucking go ahead and double dip as much as you want. But if you're sharing it with other people, then remember you're sharing it with other people. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, Dan, chips are just too big to eat in one bite. Like, sometimes you get those Texas-sized chips that are just massive, and you eat one part of it, and you have half the fucking chip left. I don't know. Or you could just break the chip in half. That's always another option. Just dip half the chip. Next up, name a TV drama that's about a vampire doctor. Uh, if anyone doesn't say, yep, Dr. Acula it's and Dr. Acula MD. Oh, another ancillary jinx. Um, um, um. I think since you actually gave proper credit, I'm gonna give that answer to go. Green, I'm sorry. That's not my fault. I'm just too delicious. Oh, wow. Never mind. Cool. I was gonna say, you need to give credit, people. Plagiarism is not a good thing. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. I actually wasn't even paying attention during the scores for the first round, so we'll see what happened. Ooh, snuck my way into third. I'll take it. Yeah, and the night scenes of the Scrubs wasn't great, but what are you gonna do? I mean, sometimes a good show just doesn't know when to quit. And everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. All right, what's our last prompt for this round? Our prompt is an obscure Surgeon General's warning that most people don't know about smoking may cause blank. Hmm. <laughs> eh, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Andrea. The eighth season finishes so great, you can just pretend the ninth doesn't even exist. Boo, boo, boo. Wow, you only have six seconds, people. This last lash might be a little, uh,. Short. Oh, somebody didn't make it. Kissy right at the last second, though. Smoking may cause your penis to shrink, unwanted pregnancy, people to think you're cool, people to severely dislike you, you asshole, spontaneous river dancing, badassery, impudence, lack of hunger, and lose of memory. 
And also, no answer. Who, oh, it was Marcy. Marcy didn't get in. Sorry. You'll be all right. <laughs> Boo. Oh, I guess I should go ahead and put my votes in, huh? Let's go with that one. And that one. And that's hilarious. Although I do really like spontaneous river dancing. I wish I could give a like to that. All right, time to find out the results. Unwanted pregnancy with two votes. Good job, Shannon. And then we have people to think you're cool with three votes. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. No, Dan, I'm not gonna do that. Badassery, also with three votes. Hardy 300 points for you, Woodrow. Spontaneous river dancing, four votes. Good job, Azure. Also, I get it now, Mark 7. People to severely dislike you, you asshole. Got five votes. Hey, Scorch, welcome. Glad you could join us. Wow, good job, Kisty. 510 points. And Arch, holy crap. 27%. Nice job. Seems everyone believes that smoking makes that's your penis all. shrink. So scores. that's yet another reason to put out those cigarettes, ladies and gentlemen. And the scores are tallied. Arch sneaks her way back into first place. Congratulations. And so that brings this game to an end. You got a quiplash with Brad Pitt. That certainly puts you in the right direction. Good job, Arch. Okay. Uh... I think we got time for another round, so let's do another round with new players. And our next room code will be J-E-B-N. People who played in the last round, if you would uh, go ahead and let others sneak in before you, that would be very considerate of you. Uh, those who are left after all the slots have been filled can go ahead and feel free to join in then. Excellent. Nice full room. We get some audience members as we go on. With everybody in, let's fucking do this thing. Bye, Jenny. Thanks for coming by. Glad you could completely wipe the board and then leave. Bye. Hi there. I'm your host, Schmitty, and I'm kind of excited to be here. Hey! Schmitty, you should be very excited to be in our presence. We are great. Below the belt. Time for round one. You get points based on the Uh yes, Green, I have. Do you have gum in your hair? Because that's very unfortunate. Your opponent. Go. Um Uh, Green, if you actually do have gum in your hair, grab some peanut butter and wipe it on it. It'll dissolve straight away. Hmm. Oh, Green, I wish you had asked that question before. Whoo. Um... I'm gonna go with... The unintentional masturbation joke. Perfect. Yes, Random, that's exactly right. Then you have peanut butter in your hair, which actually kind of helps your hair because the oils help your hair be all shiny and soft, and then you get to wash it out in the shower. Let's start this show. First up... First yes. Coffee. Yes, Marcy, ice also helps. My blank. Forget okay, coffee. Vote for your favorite. <laughs> don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Or don't talk to me until I've had my morning weed. Um. 
Ah, both are great. The best parts of waking up. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. But I feel like coffee definitely has more of a waking up intonation, and I mean, we could be used anytime, right? Oh, good job, Kisty. What are you allergic to coffee or something? Next one. Come up with a name for a generic brand of hot dogs that you probably shouldn't buy. Uh, generic weenies, or I can't believe it's not meat. Ooh, that would be awful. Ooh. Ooh, I can't believe it's not meat hot dogs. Ooh. That's almost as bad as the bears. <laughs> it's called a veggie dog. Yeah, that's very true, Shannon, and those are also incredibly gross. Chinese style hot dogs. No, those are made with real meat, just meat of animals that you don't think of. Oh, speaking of that question. <laughs> what are unadvertised ingredients in most hot dogs? Ood brains, or snips and snails and puppy dog tails. That's what hot dogs are made of. And Kisty, don't you live in Washington or something like that too? That that's gotta really suck. Yeah, the new DLC just added all hot dog based questions. Thank you. I do so love your points. Nom nom nom. Oh, just California. Close enough. The sound a tree actually makes when it falls, and no one is around to hear it. Uh, <laughs> as it falls, push down on a level. Or, why would anyone listen to me? Because nobody's around to hear you, you stupid fucking tree. <laughs> Although that is really funny. Yeah, don't take the ood brains. Ood brains are probably really gross, I'm gonna guess. And very badly developed because they're just kind of inside that little ball. What was it David Tennant says? What kind of violent creature holds their brains in their hand? Vote on your devices. The bad reason to call 911. Troll in this game of League. Actually, that's a great reason to call 911 because you're going to prevent a murder. And Tim muting his mic again. Love it. That's the one I'm voting for. <laughs> That's a good question, Queen. You'll have to ask them that yourself. Boop, boot, boop, boot, 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 boop, boot. Scorch, this is 100% fact. Oh, nice. Welp. There's your quiplash. Good job, the doctor. Something, Something you should, should not, not do while crowd, while crowd surfing. Get a boner or polish your board. I feel like if you get a boner, wouldn't that kind of make your, your penis like the rudder on the bottom of a board? So I don't know. Maybe you should. <laughs> Tim muted his mic again. I think, I think my ears are broken or maybe his voice box is broken. He needs help. I imagine you probably shouldn't go looking for sharks while you're crowd surfing either. Ooh, damn it, Kisty! Such an even split. Next one. Yes, Dan. Yes, it is, Dan. Bill Hickok named his penis probably. Uh, <laughs> Wild Bill's Hickok. I mean, that's kind of like a built-in answer, right? Come on. 
do to do 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 do to do. Hey, Green, we do not joke about Twitch streams getting swatted, okay? We do not joke about that. <laughs> Why, Kisty? You won. You should. I mean, you did just fine. Good job, Marcy. Holy crap. And next is a horrible, a horrible pickup, pickup line. line. Wow, you look a lot like Hitler. Or, want to play 52 pickup? It's where you're one of 52 who come back to my place. <laughs> I like to think that that's just an invitation to an orgy. I mean, who doesn't love a good Saturday night orgy? Seriously, come on. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Boop, boot, boop, boot, boop. Let's see what the audience picks. Oh, most people think Hitler is the worst pickup line, and I would be inclined to agree. Damn. Good job, Azure. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. And time for round two. After we see the scores. Aw, <laughs> I got scooched down to third. Damn it. Azure, I'm coming for that butt. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard oh, you are, Schmitty. How very benevolent of you. Best thing to yell. Hmm. Almost read out my question out loud. And then... Oh. Perfect. Nailed it. Desi, that's okay. Uh, it's one of those things that you really should just kind of get to on your own time. Don't let anybody pressure you into watching that show because um, it's not like ground bait breakingly amazing every episode so really it kind of takes some getting into and you really should watch it because you want to see it not because somebody told you you should that's just my that's my ref uh, 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 suggestion let's take a look starting things off the worst halftime show the blank dancers. do 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 Okay, the non-dancing dancers, or the Dalek dancers. I feel like I would enjoy seeing the Dalek dancers because they would be doing all these kind of spinning and levitating movements. That might be really interesting, but the non-dancing dancers is great. Do, 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 do. I think the Dalek dancers halftime show would be really amusing, and then they would kill everyone. It'll be the best last show you ever saw. <laughs> wow, Dan. Wow. 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 Nice. Next in line. Little known fact, over the course of a lifetime, an average person accidentally eats 10 blank spiders. Dust mites. Time or piles of poo poo. He eats the poo poo. He eats the poo poo. He eats the poo poo. 10 poo poo. I would rather eat 10 dust mites than 10 piles of poo-poo. I think that's pretty much across the board solid fact there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that's, oh, Marcy. <laughs> you should have said dicks. You really should have said dicks. <laughs> Eat 10 dicks would have totally been the, the answer that got equipped last. Secret to a happy life. Fish fingers and custard or memes. Memes are not the key to a happy life. Memes are a key to loneliness and all of your friends leaving you. Do not give in to memes. Memes. Not even once.
Oh wow, it seems most people... Never mind. The audience is gonna swing it back in the fish fingers and custard flavor. Nice. Okay, next one. The best thing to yell while going over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Hmm. And I'm free, free falling. Excellent reference. Or this is a finely aged barrel. Both are very funny answers. I don't know. Hmm. Wow! Damn it! Damn it, Jockman! Damn you! Next up, the name of the music playlist that will definitely put an end to the party. <laughs> Songs to jerk to, or a quiplash background music soundtrack. Hey, that's just rude. Also, songs to jerk it to might actually be some good rhythms and grooves. Because here's the thing, you really want to get into a rhythm when you get into it. You know what I mean? I totally forgot about gifts. Fuck. Yes, Green, yes I have played Shovel Knight. I have beaten Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's amazing. I have it for the Wii. <laughs> you people are gonna be the end of me and my ability to be taken seriously. Vote on your devices. A strange place to hold a family reunion, where your family is buried. Terrible people. You all are terrible people. Or, the hydroelectric power plant. I feel like at the hydroelectric power plant, you might be able to end them all at once, and then your family would all be buried in the same place, and you can just keep going back there year after year after year. I don't know. That's a toughie. And next is Hey, Queen, that is very rude. I um, also true. The crazy thing to find during a colonoscopy. <laughs> Let me wings that travel. Let me wings. Let me wings. Going on a journey through a gay man's ass. Let me wings. <laughs> oh, that was a real place, Azure? <laughs> That's hysterical. We always the my family has one my dad's side of the family has one every year in Alabama, and they always do it at this uh Baptist church there in the small, small little town uh in, in Alabama where they do it. Oh my god. And so we it's like every year thirty some odd folks gather and uh, it's a big old country time. What are you gonna do? It's you know you're really drunk when you forget to unmute your mic during a stream. Or when you think Bush didn't do 9 11. Number one, Bush didn't do 9 Well, I think I'm just gonna let that one lie. And number two, I think that was my own joke there for forgetting to unmute the stream, so I can't really be mad at me for that. Thank you kindly. I appreciate pandering to my own audience. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God. I feel kind of bad for doing that to you guys. Except I don't feel bad at all. That was exactly what you deserved. Thank you so much for the points. And now round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. <laughs> so what's our prompt this time, Schmitty? A quick way, great, great way to quickly get out of credit card debt. 
Um, duh. Everybody knows the answer to that. All right, people. Get this last slash answer in here. We need to know who wins this round. Ha! <laughs> That's funny, Shannon. <laughs> I already did that a long time ago. <laughs> a great way to get out of credit card debt. To play dead, uh, to use someone else's credit card to pay it off. Good strategy. Suicide, always a good one. But I think your debts end up passing along to your family. So, uh, pay it with your other credit card. Buy more credit cards. Sell your body parts to the black market. Kidneys and testicles actually go for the most, by the way. Anal for money. I think they just call that prostitution. And start a waffle party based pyramid scheme. A waffle party. That might actually be fun. I imagine a waffle party would be just like 12 waffle makers lined up and people get to make all these different kinds of varieties of waffle. Here's the blueberry fucking. Um, uh, 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 batter, and then here's the buttermilk batter, and here's the chocolate chip batter. Evie, because you're thinking of blue, mo blue waffles, that's why. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Also, I just thought of the awful waffle from Salute Your Shorts and realized that that was actually not quite as bad as people thought. Also, yeah, waffles are 100% uh, the best breakfast food, period. Pancakes are inferior. The French toast is a close second, but waffles stand head and shoulders above the rest. And deserve six points. Good job, Azure. Wow! Never mind, the doctor just cleaned up there. Holy crap! It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. Hmm. Our final scores for this round, please, please, please let me win. No! Fifth place! God damn it, Azure! Good job winning that round, Azure. Oh. I'm gonna go stand in the corner of shame now. Uh, as we take another break. And when we come back, we may put, play some more Quip Lash or Drawful or Hand of Fate or something. I don't really know. We'll make up our mind during the break. But for those who are watching the YouTube stream, you'll find out during the next episode. For those who are watching live, enjoy the music. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Bye. <laughs>